Hey you guys, welcome to Quickies, a new sub-series here on Food and the Single Guy with me, your very own Amaru. Now on Quickies, I will bring you delicious, simple and quick little recipes perfectly tailored for your busy weekday or your lazy day when cooking a full course meal can be somewhat of a chore. In addition to that, I know that some of you don't like long videos, so these short videos will be right up your alley. Now, as per usual, all the ingredients will be listed below, so uh, let's go ahead and have this um, quickie. For this delicious pasta dish, I will be using this very festive and colorful farfalline. Now, I don't think I have to explain to you how to cook pasta, right? Just follow the instructions on the pack and you'll be fine. After your pasta is cooked, you pour it into a colander and run it under a running tap to stop the cooking process. You then allow the pasta to drain completely. Now, I always use the same pot in which I cook the pasta to put my salad together. I need plenty of room to mix and stir my ingredients. I cannot stand it when people try to stir a truckload of ingredients in a tiny container. To my pasta, I will add half of a small onion, finely chopped, and I'm using a white onion, but feel free to use yellow or purple onions if you so desire, or even a finely chopped shallot. Next, I add three to four spoonfuls of this delicious yogurt-based mayonnaise. It has the same texture and taste of regular mayonnaise, but it contains a lot less fat and it's better for you. I love it. We're gonna give that a good stir, and after that, we will add a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic, one tablespoon of dehydrated parsley. You may certainly use fresh parsley. Don't let me stop you. Next, we will add one teaspoon of Mediterranean herbs and some fresh chives. We will give that another good mix, and soon after, we will add the tuna. Make sure to drain the tuna before adding it to the pasta, and next, you guessed it, we mix away once again, and after about a minute or so, you're ready to serve your dish. And this is what my final presentation looked like, and I can tell you, it was delicious. But that's the way it goes with quickies. Everybody loves them. Now, if you decide to have this quickie, tell me all about it in the comment section. In the meantime, do be well, take care, happy cooking, happy eating, don't add crazy to the craziness, and I will see you when I see you. Have a good one, you guys. Bye.